Scientists think there might be a huge onion chilling somewhere out there in space. Not an actual one, but it's something even crazier. These are stars stacked inside each other, layer upon layer. These fascinating objects, called gravistars, could even be cousins of black holes. But most importantly, they might hold the key to understanding some of the most mysterious puzzles in the universe, dark energy, and even other dimensions. Let's start with gravity. Over a century ago, Albert Einstein helped us understand how gravity works. Turns out, it's not just something that pulls things on Earth and makes apples fall on Newton's head. It's much wilder. It's about warping the very fabric of existence itself. Let's say you toss a heavy ball, like a bowling ball, onto the middle of your bed. What happens to the sheets? They dip, don't they? They stretch and sag around the ball. Now, if you roll a smaller ball, like a marble, across the bed, it doesn't move in a straight line anymore. Instead, it starts circling the heavy ball, rolling closer and closer, as if the heavy ball is pulling it in. That's gravity! But instead of bed sheets, we're talking about the fabric of space and time itself, or space-time for short. Heavy objects like planets and stars make dents in space-time, and moons, planets, or even light move along these dents. Gravity is the curve that tells them where to go. In that case, you can guess that black holes are like the ultimate heavy balls. The heaviest, in fact. The gravity is so strong, it shrinks them, making them smaller and smaller. So tiny, they could fit in the palm of your hand, but with the mass of several suns. Some of them are like holding over 40 billion solar masses in your palm. It's ridiculous, but they basically create a bottomless pit in space-time with insane gravity. This area around them, called the Event Horizon, is the most horrifying thing ever. It's a point of no return. Once something gets there, it can never escape being eaten. When something falls past the Event Horizon, it can't climb back out, not even light. Which is why they seem like, well, black holes. But gravistars, they're something much weirder. Just like black holes, they're probably very compact. But instead of being tiny pits of endless gravity, they might have something wild at their core. Dark energy. This is one of the universe's biggest mysteries. Dark energy, this invisible, mysterious something that seems to be pushing the universe apart faster and faster. It's like a polar opposite of gravity. While gravity tries to pull things together to slow down the expansion of the universe, dark energy is trying its hardest to make our world even bigger. Luckily, dark energy has been winning so far. Otherwise, we'd all be in some deep pit. But if we can explain the gravity with balls, then what exactly is dark energy? A force, an energy field, something else? We have no idea. Scientists have seen its effects. They know that it's incredibly spread out everywhere, but they can't tell you what that thing even is. But if it's trapped inside of gravistars, maybe we'll finally discover the truth. This name stands for gravitational condensate stars. Gravistars were dreamed up by two physics professors, Paolo Mazur and Emil Matola, in 2006. They tried to think, what else, besides black holes, could happen when a massive star collapses on itself? That's how they created this alternative. Think of it this way. Gravity pulls everything inward, making super heavy objects like stars shrink in size. The more the star shrinks, the denser it gets, and its gravity grows stronger. After some point, it can cross a critical threshold and become a black hole. But what if there was dark energy inside to counteract this? At the core of a gravistar, there could be a region filled with false vacuum or dark energy. This energy would push outward, fighting the gravity. It's like the unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Thanks to this, the star core doesn't collapse into a black hole. Sounds wacky. We don't know what dark energy even is, so how can it fill up anything? But luckily, 
Even if scientists can't fully explain dark energy, they still have strong mathematical models to check how it works in our universe. So, they decided to test this theory. Here's where things get even weirder. The new theory says that gravistars might not be simple lone objects. Instead, they could be stacked one inside another. Each one is like a layer with its own dark energy bubble inside, surrounded by a thin skin of matter. The outermost shell would hold a smaller gravistar inside it, and that one could hold an even smaller one, and so on. It's like a series of balloons, one inside the other. The air pressure in each one of them is stable, evenly spread out. Thanks to that, none of them deflate. They coexist without one popping or collapsing the others. In the case of gravistars, the air is dark energy, and the rubber is the shell of matter surrounding it. It sounds crazy, but it actually makes this whole idea more realistic. A single gravistar might have a very thin shell of matter, but the thicker they are, the more likely it is to exist in a stable way. And finally, the coolest part about them is that they could explain one of the biggest mysteries of our world, how universes are born. When a star collapses into a gravistar, the matter could theoretically implode through the center and create a new dimension. This would connect these objects to the Big Bang itself. Some scientists even speculate that dark energy could be the energy exchanged between our universe and a child universe that's created from a gravistar. Of course, these are all just speculations for now. But where are all those gravistars? And how do we test this? Well, physicists aren't sure either. They're more of a what-if thing than an actual object that they discovered. Those two professors just tried to imagine what would happen if gravity and dark energy worked together like this. For now, the LIGO, a big observatory which detects ripples in space-time, hasn't found clear evidence of gravistars. Another problem is that gravistars would only be stable in specific cases. For example, if they spin too fast or their shell will be too thick, they might start to wobble or break apart eventually though it could actually take billions of years. Plus, even if we don't see them right now, remember that this is exactly what happened to the black holes themselves. When Einstein published his groundbreaking theory of general relativity, another scientist, Carl Schwarzschild, took his equations and found a solution to them. And that's when he realized, if gravity becomes incredibly strong, the light wouldn't be able to escape and this could create a sort of hole in space. Einstein even thought that this sounds too weird to be true. It took many years for us to confirm black hole's existence, and we finally took a photo of one just a couple of years ago. You might remember that blurry picture that blew up online? It was Sagittarius A star, an incredible supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy, Milky Way. So, that's why scientists approach gravistars so seriously. And since all the math checked out, which means that these objects are actually possible in real life. Now, we just need to see if they're somewhere out there. What's interesting is that they'd probably look like regular black holes. They could emit high-energy radiation as they consume matter. They might even produce something called Hawking radiation, a type of energy that escapes from black holes. In other words, it would be nearly impossible to tell the difference. But gravistars have a small trick up their sleeve. If their shell is transparent to light, they might bend light in a slightly different way than black holes do. So maybe if they check the way light is bent around the mysterious object, they could spot the difference. And even if it turns out that gravistars don't exist in our reality, they're still valuable to science. They still taught us more about gravity, black holes, and the limits of relativity. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.